So I'm going to walk you through how the Power BI uh, private link setup looks like, and then how can you take it a step further from our public documentation page that does a really great job of walking through step-by-step, step, how do you build this out? What I wanna show you all is what does this look like under the covers? What does it look like from an Azure perspective? And then how can you take it a step further to connect your iPhone to the virtual network to use the Power BI app on your phone? I'm not gonna walk you through step-by-step step of what was done here on the documentation page. I'm gonna show you what it looks like after we've done this, and then how do we get it to the point where we can connect your phone to the virtual network so that you can still consume the Power BI service um, as a private link, even if you've disabled public facing internet to your Power BI tenant. So I wanna point out here, what we're looking at here is the admin portal for the Power BI service. There's two new settings for the tenant settings that you'll see when you can enable Azure Private Link for your Power BI tenant. The first one is just enabling Azure Private Link integration. And we recommend the best thing to do is to only enable this first before you then go to block public internet access. The reason being is you wanna make sure that your VNet is configured correctly and that you have a way to connect to your Power BI service. If you do both at the same time, but you haven't configured your VNet correctly, you could potentially lock yourself out of the tenant completely. So just a word of caution, make sure you only enable Azure Private Link first, test it all out, make sure that you have access to the portal even after you've enabled private links, and then you can feel comfortable to block the public internet access after that. Now we're looking at the Azure portal, and these are the resources that were created from the step-by-step -step instructions on our documentation page. I've also added a couple other things so that I could connect my iPhone to the virtual network to set that up. Now, the first one of the first things that were created from the public documentation uh, tutorial was the private endpoint configuration. And if you go into DNS configuration for this, what you'll see is there's actually three different private DNS zones. PrivateLink.analysis.windows.net is for the Power BI portal to work correctly. PrivateLink.pbi.dedicated.windows.net is for premium capacities in the Power BI service. And then the Power Query private link is for data flows. Thing that I added in addition to what gets created from the public documentation is a VPN gateway. And I did that so that I could use a VPN client. In this case, I'm using OpenVPN. So if we go to the point to site configuration, what you'll see here is I've configured the tunnel type uh, to support the OpenVPN client. From there, I could download the client to configure that to then install that on my iPhone. Now, the other thing that I added, which was a DNS server in the virtual network. So we'll see right here, DNS server 01. That's just a virtual machine running Windows Server, and I installed the DNS server role on that so that I could use that to actually forward the DNS requests from my iPhone to the private endpoints to resolve those correctly. Now what I'm gonna do is I wanna show you just in a browser what the Power BI service experience looks like when it's configured for private links and you've disabled public internet facing traffic. On this particular machine, I'm not VPN to the virtual network, so this should fail. So if we go to app.powerbi.com, what we see is we get an error message saying that we don't have access to view the page. Because we're not VPN to the virtual network, we are not getting access to the Power BI service. So one thing to keep in mind, app.powerbi.com is still a public IP. The difference here is that at the tenant level, when we log in, it acknowledges that we've disabled internet facing traffic. And so it's going to attempt to forward us to the private link configuration. But in this case, because we're not VPN to the network, we don't actually can't actually reach the private link endpoints. So let's switch over to a VM that is on the virtual network and can actually get to the service. So let me just sort of refresh the page here. So what we see here is that the portal is working now. And the difference is, is because this VM is in the virtual network, it now has access to the IPs that are mapped to the private links for the Power BI service. And another kind of way we could check this is if we pull a PowerShell, we could do an NS lookup on app.powerbi.com. And what we can see here is that there's actually a C name alias mapping app.powerbi.com to app.privatelink.analysis.windows.net, which is one of the configurations we saw in Azure. 
and that's mapped to a local virtual network IP of 10.1.0.7. So that's kind of under the covers how this is working, how the virtual machine inside of the virtual network can get access to the portal, whereas on the outside, on my machine that's not VPN, I get the error message. Now, the next thing I want to show here is this is the Windows Server VM that I have in the same virtual network. And what I've done here is I've just simply installed the DNS server role on this virtual machine. And I did that because what I wanted to be able to do is I wanted to be able to configure my iPhone that when I set this up, I'm going to VPN with open VPN client. And then on top of that, I'm going to set up on my iPhone. The DNS server is not the default DNS server on my network but I'm gonna um, configure my DNS server to be this DNS server's IP. In this case, it's 10.1.0.8. And then on top of that, I've set up what are called conditional forwarders, which will take the three private link DNS zones and forward those to this address called 168.63.129.16. And that's actually the um, internal Azure DNS server. And so what's really neat about this is that I've effectively created a DNS server on the inside of the virtual network that can resolve to the correct private link endpoints for my tenant's Power BI service. So this gets me out of the business of deploying all of the private link configuration to my iPhone. The only thing I have to do is just configure it so that it knows the DNS server to talk to in the virtual network. Everything else is handled from there. And this is a really nice way to do this. And I think that this is a really a good way to do this if you're going to roll this out for your organization. Okay, so now we're looking at my iPhone. And what I want to show you is what are the steps you have to do to get this configured to allow your iPhone talking to the virtual network to get to the Power BI service, which then lets you use the Power BI app on your phone. So the first thing I want to do is I'm already joined to the VPN. So if you look here, VPN's turned on. I've already installed OpenVPN client and I've already connected to the VPN through OpenVPN client. But the one thing I need to do is I need to change my Wi-Fi information so that I'm using the virtual networks DNS server that we set up instead of the default DNS. So we're going to go into here, into my uh, Wi-Fi settings, and we're going to configure the DNS to manual. I'm going to remove the default, which is on my Wi-Fi, and I'm going to add the new private IP of the server we just set up, 10.1.0.8. We'll go ahead and save that. Go back to the home screen. And now what I should be able to do is I should be able to use the Power BI app to access my uh, reports. So I've launched the Power BI app. I can view my workspaces just like I normally could if I went into my workspace. I can see dashboards and reports that are associated with my environment. And if I clicked into a report, I now see the report that is associated with uh, my workspace. So that's really cool. And so what this allows you to do is have a mobile story for connecting to the Power BI environment with private links, even if you've disabled the internet facing traffic.